Hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. It is a craft and chat with Tracy. And uh, so say hello as you come on the page. I appreciate you being here. Hey guys, I have been so super busy the last few days and I can't wait to tell y'all all about it. I cannot wait to tell you all about it. I just want to make sure I thought I had turned myself down, but I guess I didn't. Uh, anyway, I always have, uh, you know, I pull, pull y'all up over here so I can chat with you during these craft and chat se uh, sessions. And so, uh, but I don't want to hear myself because then it messes me up because it's a little lag. Anyway, hi, Shelly. Uh, anyway, today is craft and chat, chat with Tracy. And uh, it is also a uh, craft around the clock day. So if you're watching in the craft around the clock group, welcome. If you're watching later on the replay on Facebook or YouTube, thank y'all for being here. Just let me know where you're watching from. Uh, also, let me know if you are new because I do like to give special welcomes to my new people. Hi, Lisa, Joe, and Sue, and Kim. I am so glad that y'all are here. Guys, uh, Again, like I said, I have been super duper busy because I am, you know, filming some things for my YouTube channel that will also be shared to my Facebook. And then also today is my segment for Craft Around the Clock. If you're not familiar with that, it's just a group that you can uh, join on Facebook where you can see 24-7 crafting, 24-7 <laughs> crafting. If I am live, there is a red live button up here in the top and or over here in the top somewhere like that. So tell me guys, am I straight? Are y'all, can y'all see? This is my text number. Let, yet, uh, last week I was backwards. So I wanted to, can y'all read my text number? Do I have this correct? Can someone please tell me? Uh, hi, Shelly and Betty from Maine. Uh, hello from Brenham, Texas. I am at so glad to be here. Here, this is my text number. Can someone tell me, is this the correct? Because it's backwards. Okay, so let me see what I need to do to get y'all straight. I thought it was. Okay, now. Okay, now. Uh-oh. Well, I, then now I, I'm dismantling my craft room. I just want to make sure. I thought I had, and, and I thought I had done that last week too. So I don't know. If Mr. Okay, tell me now if it's backwards. This is what I use as a reference to tell me if it's straight or not. This is my texting number. And uh, so, um, okay, so someone tell me, is it backwards? Because I'll change, I'll turn it again. Anyway, so I don't know if Mr. FB is messing with me or what. Okay, Miss Shelly, thank you, Shelly. Okay, guys. So today I'm going to be doing some crafts for Mother's Day. We have Mother's Day coming up uh, this Sunday, and we want to uh, honor those special mothers, even if they are not no longer with us. I am uh, blessed to have my wonderful mother, as well as the most awesome mother-in-law in my life. And so I do realize that there are a lot of people that do not, um, and my heart goes out to you. Anyway, so I have several things that I want to share with you today. So I've done a little bit of the prep so that I wouldn't waste the time to, you know, I wanted to get to the good stuff. Anyway, so the first thing that I'm going to do is one of those smashed cans. Guys, those things are so popular now. And so um, previously I had shared, um, I have a video on this. It's on my page. You can look. It's also on my YouTube. I had done, I had taken one of those buckets from the Dollar Tree and I had... <laughs> <laughs> I had uh, taken off, tried to get it off the bottom. Uh, I would not recommend the way that I did it. It's all in the video. I shared it anyway. And so I just stuffed it with all of these different uh, just tulips and different blooms and stuff like that. And then um, this week I'm working on a bee theme video that I'm putting together that's going to be hitting my YouTube channel probably Friday. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Anyway, I had shared a picture of this one that I did. Now this is you 
using a uh, vegetable can. I think it was a baked beans can. Just for reference, just for reference, baked bean, Bush's Baked Beans is not sponsoring my video. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I had just done this one and I had uh, cut out the decal on my Cricut. And so uh, anyway, that is uh, what I'm going to do. <clears throat> my number... Um, Lori is asking to show the number again. This is my text number, 979-316-7944, uh, that you can join my text list. And I'll try to have it right here, right behind me, so you can see it uh, during the video. Good morning. Hi, Darla. Hi, Nancy. Thanks for sprinkling, guys. That's a free way to help us crafters is just to, uh, sh um, we're not supposed to say the word S-H-A-R-E for whatever reason, uh, but it's just a free way that you can help us crafters by sharing it in the pri uh, public groups that allow it, as well as to other friends that may want to do it. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> all right. So thank you so much uh, for being here, but I just wanted to kind of show you, this is what we're going to be making another one, but we're going to do it in a more vintage style. So let me put this over here. Okay, so I have, crossing fingers, I have prepared three different crafts that I want to do with you today. And so I had to prep a little bit. So I have my trusty little Dollar Tree baskets that um, kind of help me out. And so that B can was this this size right here. I had taken off a sweet friend had suggested to get a uh, you know one of those where you it does it it takes off and there's no edges those metal edges. I have an electric one downstairs, but I bought this one to keep in my craft room. <laughs> you know because if I want to craft, I don't have time to be going downstairs and you know getting in the kitchen and all that stuff. Anyway. So let me show you what we're going to do today. Um, we're going to be making one with this. Okay, guys, now I did prep this. This was a uh, sweet potato can. I think they're like a 20 ounce can. And so um, what I did is like on the B one as well as this one, what I did is I took that bottom off. I just used my electric um, can opener. Um, but this one, this can opener, I just bought it off of Amazon. It's the XOO. And I think I've seen this brand in the store. But anyway, a friend had suggested Amazon. So that's where I ordered it. I took that off. And then it was very easy to bend. So I was bending it back and forth, just kind of going back. And, and then I kept going down and smushing it down at the bottom. And so... I didn't have too much trouble at all. And so the reason why I am sharing that is because when I shared the picture of the B can, there were lots of questions on how did I smash the can? And so I didn't realize that were so many people having an issue. Anyway, so that's what I did. Okay, now let me share. This paper is a uh, scrapbook paper, okay? And that's one of the, another reason why I did it before because I wanted to make sure that it would stick. And uh, this is what's left of it. I had to piece it around a little bit there at the back. Can't even see it. Uh, but it's kind of has the, the vintage theme to it. This is a different one that I had. I only had one sheet of this one. Anyway, but Hobby Lobby, this is where I got it from. And uh, so what I did to attach it, because that's going to be another question, I just used my Fabri-Tac glue. It sticks to almost anything. And so I just took my time and I worked and got the paper on there. Now, um, down here at the bottom, what I did is I just took a strip of that paper and I tore the edges, you know, just exposed a little bit of the paper. And then I glued it and I glued it on both sides, on the front and on the back. Lisa Joe, I did not glue the pan oh the at the bottom. What I did is I took my hammer and I just once I got it down smushed, I just took my hammer and bent it straight. I did not glue it, but on the paper I did flip it underneath so that I would not have any I didn't have any sharp edges, but you know over time you just never know things seem to happen over time. Anyway, so that's how I prepared my can. Use my Fabri-Tac glue. 
and uh, I know I'm trying to go fast because I'm on a limited time, so I will go back later and answer any questions that I may miss, okay? So, to, uh, so that's how I prepared my can, all right? And then to stick my flowers in, I'm just going to use some styrofoam because I had found with the bee theme, uh, with the bee can, that I needed to use that. And then I have all of these different florals that I pulled out thinking I was going to use. Now, Hobby Lobby, of course, mothers deserve roses. And so I love these little mini roses that you can get at Hobby Lobby on the bush. Uh, I'm not quite sure what if they're on sale this week, but every other week they're on sale. Uh, anyway, so I just cut off a couple of sprigs of those, the ivory one, and I'm not sure which one that one is. And then I just cut some of these like this. All right. So I just wanted to kind of share what I'm using. And then um, for a hanger, what I'm going to use for the can is I have some of this gold wire from Dollar Tree. And so I'm just going to be using that for the, for to make a hanger for my uh, can. Now, don't worry, when I get started, I'm going to bend you down so that you can see my uh, work surface. And I'm going to put the hole in using my crop -a dial It's just something that I have on hand. And then, of course, I pulled out some pit berries. I love pit berries. Those are also from the Dollar Tree, not Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, from Hobby Lobby. And then I just pulled out a lot of, I just pulled out my basket with all my uh, laces and trims. And that is what I'm planning to use for the bow. All right, and then this greenery is one of my favorites now, also from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so let's bend you down and get started. Okay, guys, here's my work surface, and uh, these are all of the different flowers that I pulled out for this can. All of these come from Hobby Lobby, as well as these pit berries. And the styrofoam is from Dollar Tree. And uh, I already know that I'm going to have to cut off just a little bit of this block of styrofoam. Um, I love these blocks that I can get from the Dollar Tree. And uh, so I'm just going to stick that in there. I need to cut the sides off just a little. All right. So I kind of stuffed that in there. All right. Now, um, I think I might put some glue in there. Just using some, some hot glue. Because that's what I have handy. <clears throat> It is a, the can opener is a XOXO. Someone was asking what kind of can opener. And so it's like, uh, you, you know, it cuts it uh, all the way around the edges. And I got it off of Amazon. Okay. So I have my styrofoam in there. And then let me put some holes. I just want to put on the side. And I'm just sharing this because a lot of people ask about how do you put a hole in and I just use my crop -a uh, You can get these crop -a at any craft store usually in the scrapbooking section or they are listed in my Amazon shop and so in the description of this video my link tree that has all of my links I do have a link to my Amazon shop if you're interested so sometimes people like things shipped to them and so that's the reason why I just share that. Okay, again, this wire that I'm using for the hanger came from the Dollar Tree. Just like that. And uh, so it's very like flimsy. And so what I'm gonna do is just, um, hello everyone. I'm hurriedly trying to, uh, I'm not ignoring you on purpose. And uh, because I want to, get as many projects done. I have three planned, but we're going to see, <laughs> we're going to see, um, how 
that I can, if I can get that done anyway, so to get it to hold guys, what I'm doing is this is how, this is how flexible this wire is from the Dollar Tree. Uh, anyway, I just thought the gold looked very nice. And so what I did is I just twisted it for it to hold like that. And so, um, I can twist it around my finger if I want to get all fancy and all that. Uh, anyway, sometimes, you know, I cut my wire too short or too long. <laughs> sometimes that happens. I'm so glad that y'all are here today. Welcome everyone. Um, planning to do some crafts for Mother's Day gifts. Um, and, and this is just ideas for Mother's Day gifts. I'm calling it that. But this could be for a birthday, for a friend gift, co-workers, graduations are coming up. Um, you know, birthdays. Well, I've already said that. You know, anniversaries. Just because. Anyway, so that is how our can is looking so uh, so far. Again, I'm using um, a, I think it was like a 20 ounce can from, it was like sweet potatoes or yams, whatever one chooses to call it. And uh, anyway, I just, I didn't have any problems. I just kept working with it, smashing it down at the bottom. I didn't glue it, but I did uh, glue my scrapbook paper on. The scrapbook paper is from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so if you have been following me for any length of time, I love this fine Excelsior. And yes, it is a very messy, but that does not bother me because I've been using it for years. I have the best luck finding this fine Excelsior at Joann's, Joann's Craft Store. And so um, I just love it. It's very whimsy. Hi, Connie from Florida. <clears throat> Hi, Tony. Hi, Shelly. Peggy, everyone who's watching. Um, I am in Texas, and if you can't tell, uh, when I first started doing videos, um, I had a person that was from the United Kingdom, and she said she just loved my accent, and I'm like, I don't have an accent. You have an accent, because you know British people have that, so we would kind of banter back and forth. Uh, anyway, so then I have my Excelsior in that and uh, in the can. Man, when you're crafting, time just goes by. All right, so then let's see. What do I want to put? I know I want to put these, these flowers in here. And so I just, let me stick this to the back because I'm just going to stick these in here. See, they're sticking up a little too high for me. So I need to cut them down just a tad because I don't want it to stick up too much. So have y'all made one of these smashed cans yet? There were are a lot of people um, that have, you know, shared their versions. I don't know who is the creator of it, but whoever did, thank you very much because you've inspired many of us to craft and create with all different sizes of cans. Um, I have even seen one that they took one of those popcorn cans that you can, uh, that you get like, um, is it at Christmas? I think you can get those popcorn cans with all the different things. Thanks for spreading the charm, Miss Connie. Thank you so much. Uh, guys, that's a free way to help us creators is just by um spreading the charm that's just what i said just because my craft and, and i'm so sorry i didn't introduce myself my name is tracy if you do not know me i am uh the crafter here at country charm by tracy you can find me on facebook you can find me on youtube uh you can find me on instagram and so i just share try to share my videos everywhere just to inspire others Okay, I'm loving the way that looks. And, you know, another thing I was thinking that if, you know, people don't want a, a smashed can, you know, you can decorate a, a can like this and, you know, have the same concept, you know, just don't have the smashed hanging one. All of these florals came from um, Hobby Lobby. All of the florals came from Hobby Lobby with the exception of the Excelsior. 
uh, that's like Spanish moss. And then what I'm doing, guys, is I'm just trying to stick my florals in there. And this one is giving me some problems. Um, I guess it was too thick there at the bottom. You know, sometimes if you try to stick too much in there <clears throat> and, uh, all right, here we go. There we go. So that is how our can is looking. And I think that we have enough in there for now. I'm going to leave it. Sometimes less is more. <clears throat> but I wanted to share how I made the uh, made the bow for it because I'm going to be making it very similar to the one that I made on the bee can. And let me show you real quick. Here's the one that I made on the bee can. And um, guys, I was going through my craft room and I had pulled out um, this creepy cloth from Halloween and uh, it was in one of my my bins and I'm like what you know do I do I give that to you know do I donate it what do I do and so I'm like are people using that for uh the ribbons and stuff anyway so I made a bow with it anyway it's from Halloween from um from you know the Dollar Tree got it from the Dollar Tree uh, anyway, so I just cut off pieces of it and I'm going to use it. And I just really think it gives my bow some texture and stuff. So I just have lots of different ribbons and trims and all of that good stuff. I like to use uh, muslin uh, fabric in some of my bows um, for actually, I just thought about it when I saw this. What I was going to do is I have this beautiful ribbon, I mean this beautiful lace trim it came from Walmart uh, in the craft section. And so <clears throat> what I'm going to do is use my Fabri-Tac uh, glue. This is uh, one of my favorite ways. This is what it looks like. You can get it in the Walmart off of Amazon. Uh, that kind of stuff. And one of the reasons that I like to use the Fabri-Tac versus hot glue, uh, sometimes I may use it in conjunction with each other, but the Fabri-Tac gives you a little bit of time to, it holds fast, but yet it gives you a little bit of time to get your trim on there before it dries. And so I really like that. Again, the lace trim came from uh, Walmart. And why did I do that? Because I didn't need to. Anyway, thanks so much for being here, guys, and watching today. I am um, Tracy. I craft here at Country Charm by Tracy. And uh, I love to share different crafts like this that have a little bit of whimsy, a little bit of um, country, rustic feel to them. I do love my happy dots and my paint splatters. You'll see well, probably, you know, a lot of that if you watch my videos uh, on Facebook. I would love it if you would follow along uh, and on YouTube if you would subscribe to my channel because I do share my videos on both platforms on Facebook as well as YouTube. So I want to welcome wherever you're watching I want to welcome you. All right, so I'm going to just cut that off. All right. Thanks, Wendy, for being here. Thanks, Linda. I hope everyone has a wonderful day as well. So this is how it's looking. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And I, I like the torn edges at the bottom. Again, I this was a, a sweet potato can uh, that I had smashed down. I would just kind of like did this. This is one that I'm just using for reference. I had taken this off. I had used my XOXO um, can opener. I bought this one to keep in my craft room. Uh, so if you may have a electric one, you can do that as well. So anyway, that is how our uh, can is looking so far. So then I was in the process of making um, a bow 
for it. Hi, Michelle. Hey, Agatha. Agatha said it's pretty. Thank you so much. So let me, oh guys, let me show y'all this. Have y'all seen this ribbon at the Dollar Tree? Now, I only found one roll of this and it is beautiful. I only found one roll. I was out of town um, and I only <laughs> found one roll. I'm like, oh goodness, I love it. And so be on the lookout. It, I mean, this may not suit your fancy, but it certainly suits mine. I love it so much. It looks, uh, I don't know, it almost looks like window pane. Anyway, so I'm just going to take just different trims, just real quick here, and make a... Um, Michelle says she just got 12 large cans from her favorite restaurant. You go, girl. All right. Linda says she got a roll. Yay. Awesome. Okay. So to make a, um, to make just this bow, I don't want it to be anything too, too much. So I just have just different trims and I like to get my, uh, laces and trims. I get them anywhere that I can find them. Dollar Tree, Walmart. Oh, we got to have some pearls in here, right guys? Got to have some pearls. All right. Okay, let's see what else. We got this. No, do we have some of this? No, we do. We do not. I had just taken um, a lot of these because I, <laughs> I have so much ribbon. And uh, so it was, it's taken up so much space. So I had seen another crafter have all of their ribbons and trims like that. And I'm like, well, I'm going to try it and see. Okay. So I'm going to keep one of those behind because that is what, and I'm just gathering it like this. Oops. I don't want that. I want this one. Hi, Mary. First time here. Hi, Agatha. She, hi. Hi, Pat from Unique. I appreciate everyone watching today. Sue says she hasn't seen that ribbon at the Dollar Tree. Well, girl, be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. I know that's what's so frustrating. Uh, and I have just totally lost. That's okay. I have just totally messed up my messy bow because I just need to slow down and do it right. Okay. Brenda says, first timer, thank you so much for being here. And of course, you know, the time when I didn't want it to be tight, it's tight. <clears throat> Usually I like to use just a pipe cleaner uh, to tie my, my uh, bows together, but I was just using a piece of the muslin fabric. So if you're, again, if you're watching uh, in the Craft Around the Clock, group. I so appreciate you being here watching. I love this group. Everyone is so supportive and and just so welcoming. If you're watching uh, on Facebook or if you're watching on YouTube, um, I appreciate you because I'm in all the places. All right, now we're going to get it together. Got it, got it, got it. And Francis, welcome. Leslie said, oh, thank you. Thank you to the friends who are inviting others. That is, guys, really, that means more to us crafters than anything. Uh, is just share, um, not, we're not supposed to say that word. Uh, I don't know really why. Uh, anyway, guys, so what I'm doing now, let me make sure I got the right side. Okay, I don't know. I always seem to just kind of go to one side. So I just tied my bow on to here. Hi, Leslie. Um, thanks for welcoming everyone. Hey, Faye, first time. Thank y'all so much. Uh, I appreciate y'all being here. We're just making one of those smashed can pockets. This is the third one that I did. Uh, this one is going to be for Mother's Day. And, uh, so then I'm just kind of have my, my little, uh, bow just like that. So then, um, I'm not quite sure right now. I think I'm going to leave it plain. I, I had pulled out uh, a, all kind of like just some different flowers that I get from uh, either Hobby Lobby 
Um, and guys, I had shared this. This is really a good bargain when they have their... Uh, these burlap flowers are gorgeous. They're in the wedding section on the weeks when they have their wedding stuff on sale. It's a garland. And so I had shared that, that you can get um, all of these just for, I don't know, let's see what the regular price is. $9.99 regular. That's a good deal. Um, and so there's a lot of them on there. And then also I picked up these from the wedding section. Anyway, so I'm not quite sure. And then I had some of these in my stash. And so I'm not sure if I want to put something on it or not. I don't know. You can let me know what you think if I should put something on it right there or not. Uh, anyway, so that is project number one. All right. So we're going to put that to the side. Now... This is the, the next project that I wanted to do, and uh, this one is pretty sentimental <laughs> uh, to me. I am fortunate that I do still have both of my parents. Um, love them dearly. Um, they have taught us kids. I have, I'm the oldest of four uh, kids. Uh, all of my family lives here. I know that that is a rarity because usually people are all out. Uh, you know, across the country, world, that kind of thing. Uh, anyway, so um, when I was thinking about, you know, something, uh, uh, an idea for my mom, um, who's not really a big crafter, she supports everything I do, but she's not very crafty, you know, but she just, she loves seeing it and everything. But, but anyway, this is a blue jean pocket. That is from my dad. And so many years, um, okay, my sister, Tina Heritage, just jumped on. So she heard, I so was saying that I have an awesome, <laughs> awesome family. So uh, everyone say hello to my sister, Tina, who is in the comments. Anyway, I have had a lot of these uh, pockets for years. Maybe, I don't know, sad to say, I'm a hoarder, 20 years, because this is a back pocket and so you can see like where the indention of his billfold now he carries his billfold in his front pocket so this goes to show how old these blue jeans are hey francis from vine and silk uh thanks so much erin for welcome uh welcoming my sister anyway so um i thought that i would do make a pocket out of this all right so for the hanger what i'm just going to use is just this jute rope that i get from hobby lobby of course and uh sometimes um it's kind of it's out at my store uh or where i usually shop because it must be let's see this is the uh four ply this is the four ply and uh so it must be pretty popular because it's either out or you know sometimes i have to um you know, wait for it to get back in stock. So what I'm doing is I am just making uh, a knot. Did I do two or one? Just one. I'm going to do two. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to make this for the hanger. I'm going to make this for the hanger. And uh, so anyway, what I'm doing today, guys, is I am making um, Mother's Day gifts for... I'm also in Craft Around the Clock. Now, my time in Craft Around the Clock ends at 10.30, no, 11.30, because uh, I'm on Central Time at 11.30. And so there will be another crafter uh, hopping on in Craft Around the Clock um, at 11.30 Central, uh, wherever you're located. Anyway, but I wanted to share these Mother's Day gifts with you so you can continue to watch uh, or you can, you know, watch because then Craft Around the Clock because I'll be here on my page and then also on YouTube. Uh, I will also continue until I get these done. But you can, you know, just so that you know, in Craft Around the Clock, my time does end at 1130. Uh, but then, you know, another crafter will be another crafter's time. All right. So, um, then what I'm going to do is just put some of this Excelsior in there because I love it so much. Hey guys, welcome any and everyone who is new. No matter if you have seen me before, maybe you've seen me on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram. Good morning, everyone. 
Um, I would love it if you would follow my page. I love to share crafty ideas like this with a bit of rustic country charm. Uh, these are the, my mother loves purple. She loves purple. Uh, and so I thought that I would, you know, pull some of this. I didn't have any of those little purple roses that look like this. You know, because Hobby Lobby also has purple, which she would love because she loves that dark purple. <clears throat> so Nancy has a suggestion to, you could use the double seam of the leg for the hanger. Yep, that's that's an awesome idea. You could definitely use do that. I just love crafting and I love all of the different, uh, you know, different ideas and everything so what I'm, I'm going to try to see if I can stuff this in here without having to put styrofoam in. You know, sometimes you got to put styrofoam in. Sometimes things hold. All right, Paula says I, I knew you would like this. Oh, okay. Thanks, Paula, for sharing with Leslie. All right, so that's what I did is put that little lavender in there. And this is this just is sentimental to me because it is the outline of my dad's billfold. Uh, and so, like I said, he now carries it in his front pocket. So this one is from many years ago because these are his jeans, what he would wear. <laughs> And that just went flying. Don't you love crafting? You know, you I find like sticks. These, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't say. These little sticks uh, came from the Dollar Tree. You can find, I also think Walmart has them. But they're little greenery. It looks like little lamb's ear. And it has little lavender and stuff in it. Uh, anyway, so guys, what I'm doing now is just sticking that in there. Just like that. This is going to be so simple, guys. So, so very simple. I also have some pit berries. And the reason, if you may be wondering, I have these steel picks on uh, because I have a steel picks machine because I do a lot of floral wreaths and stuff for a gift shop that I design for. And uh, so those steel picks, I just, they help me with my deco mesh wreaths and stuff. I, I glue them in between the mesh just to make sure that everything is, stays uh, together. All right. Okay, so um, this is just, you know, just an idea. I just, I just pulled out the lavender because my mother loves uh, lavender and uh, not lavender. She loves purple, any kind of purple, any color of purple she loves. And uh, also, you know, the tag on this one, this was from the Dollar Tree and it also said lavender. Guys, is there a white lavender? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know, sometimes I'm not sure if they're mismarked or what they are. Anyway, so um, guys, like I said, at 1130, there will be another crafter coming on uh, for their segment of Craft Round the Clock. Uh, but I will continue uh, here on my page uh, Country Charm by Tracy as well as YouTube because I have three different Mother's Day ideas that I want to share with you. And guys, I do have a free uh, Facebook group. Guys, this is what I'm doing. Oh my goodness, I'm loving this. Oh my goodness. And I can stuff and piddle and stuff and piddle. And uh, anyway, sometimes, you know, I'm like, okay, is that enough? Is that enough? So... Anyway, let's put one right here. Anyway, there will be another crafter coming on and craft around the clock, uh, but I'll continue because I, I do want to share one more sweet Mother's Day uh, gift with you so you can watch um, here or you can, you know, I understand that everyone, you can watch on the replay, you know, then you can fast forward and or back up and say, what did she say? And then if, if you're, if, I don't make myself clear. You can always leave me a comment because I do try to answer all the comments. Um, acknowledge your sweet comment some kind of way. Guys, this is sentimental to me. This is an old jean pocket from uh, my dad's jeans. It still has the, he, he is still with us. I, I love it so much. Um, I love my daddy 
He is the best. Uh, anyway, so I've had these for many years because this is an outline of his old bill, you know, when, when he would carry his billfold in his back pocket. Now he carries it in his front. Uh, anyway, so <clears throat> uh, if you create anything that I inspire you to, I love to see pictures. Um, uh, it is the utmost uh, compliment when people recreate things that I've inspired uh, you to do. Um, it just, it is, it's, it's a compliment and I, and I love it. And some people give me credit, some don't, but it is what it is. Uh, so but that's okay. All right. I'm an advocate for community over competition. And so, um, where did my, so these are the two projects. Now I'm, I don't know quite, I'm not quite sure what I want to use if for the bow, you know, since it is, uh, rustic and, uh, country, uh, anyway, but this is what I did for this pocket right here. Thanks, Janet. Hi, sweet friend. Hey, Linda. Hey, Mary, Pamela. Thanks, Cindy, for loving the craft projects. So these are the two that I have done um, so far. I All of these florals came from Hobby Lobby. The can is a sweet potato can that I just... Um, guys, I took off the bottom. I used this can opener and it is, what am I, oh, right here. It is an XO, no, yeah, OXO brand. I'm thinking this came from, I don't know, I got it off of Amazon because one of my sweet viewers recommended it because I was asking um, recommendations on how to get the bottoms off. Well, I was actually rec asking for that bucket. This bucket. And so because it has a slanted, you know, underneath it. And so I had to really work to try to get that off. Anyway, if you're interested in seeing how I made that flowers and garden bucket, I do have a video on my page. Um, also in the search bar, that's a great way to kind of search things. Sometimes it can, like, it's kind of hidden. So you may have to click around on the pages to find, um, you know, different, uh, like search different uh, keywords, that kind of thing. Anyway, so those are two of the projects that we've created. All right. So then this one, as I said, in the craft around the clock group, um, there's another crafter that'll come on for 1130 because we're on 45 minute, um, you know, time increments, but I'll continue because I want to get this done and show you this cute craft project that I have planned. Now, my mother-in-law, I know she's not going to comment, but sometimes she watches my videos. And so if she happens to see this, whoops, cat's out of the bag. But my mother-in-law loves redbirds. And so uh, cardinals are her favorite. And so she has this little area in her bathroom or in her guest bathroom that she has red birds. Some of them, my boys, we've given to her. Some of them, you know, she's collected or other grandkids, uh, other people have given to her. Anyway, so what I thought is that I would create her a little um, decor piece from me uh, for with the red bird. Okay, so I had this. This red bird came from Dollar Tree. Uh, as you can see, it was from the Christmas time. Uh, and um, anyway, so it's just a little, <laughs> oh, how cute, you know, little red bird. Anyway, guys, I'm going to make a little nest on here, making a little arrangement. Now, this is one of those tea light candle holders. This came from the Dollar Tree. I've had it for a little while, but I just love it because I'm like, I'm not going to need to do any kind of, um, you know, it looks very elegant. And so I really think that my uh, sweet mother-in-law will like this. Again, like I said, sometimes, you know, she doesn't comment, but she may be watching uh, a video. And if she does, oh, well, you know what you're going to get. <laughs> I love my mother-in-law. I'm just so, I'm so blessed. Um with the the best in-laws and the best parents. And I say that humbly. I don't say that to be boastful or bragging, but um, you know, being on the internet, 
Uh, I don't know why I'm just trying to get that off. But being on the internet, you know, we, we run across a lot of people with a lot of different stories. And not everybody's story is the same. And so it's a very, very heartbreaking uh, anyway. Okay, so I'm going to put my um, red bird in a nest. So I just pulled out these nests. Now these are left over from uh, Easter from Hobby Lobby. And uh, so that's going to be my nest. Uh, these are some of the florals that I think I'm going to put inside. I have these little daisies. This is a Michaels tag, so they look like they came from Michaels. I love the greenery. I love the little daisies on it. And then, guys, this um, greenery is, I don't know, it's a garland that I picked up from Hobby Lobby a long time ago. I just had it in my stash. And my sweet friend, Summer from the Hammond's Nest, if y'all are not following Summer from the Hammond's Nest, she just did a project this last week or the uh, uh, this week or maybe last week. She's on Facebook, the Hammond's Nest, and she had done a project using some of this greenery. Uh, so I'm like, I think I have some of that. And I surely did. I surely did. Okay. So... I'm not going to need to do anything with this. I'm not going to need to do anything with this. So, um, as far as like painting it or anything like that. So, but what I am going to do is pull some more of that uh, Excelsior because, you know, that's what I like to do. And uh, so, what I thought is I would pull some of these sprigs of this greenery. Hi, Mary from PA. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Tammy. Betty, thank you so much for being here, guys. Again, I am making three uh, or trying to make three Mother's Day projects um, as, to give as gifts. Um, I wanted to kind of show the smash can that I made, uh, and I'll share it uh, again when I get finished here. But I'm just sticking that in there, just like that, just like that, just kind of filling that hole, filling that hole. All right. And so then, um, let me, I'm going to take this pick off. Hi, Terry. So glad you made it, sweet friend. Hi, Mary from... Uh, Pennsylvania. Hi, Betty. First time watching. Welcome. If you're new here, please let me know uh, by saying that you are new so that I can give you a special welcome. Guys, if I am still live, there will be a red live button up here in the uh, in the corner. If that if if it's if I'm not live, if it's not red up there, then that means that you're watching the video after I've finished. But I love communicating with my uh, friends, no matter when you watch, because most of my friends watch on the replay. And so I have been doing videos on YouTube for many years. And so uh, that's kind of what, you know, how I've built, uh, how I've built the community. And then now Facebook gives me the uh, option to go live. And so that's what I'm doing. Um, I know YouTube has that option as well. But I never had much luck with going live on YouTube for whatever reason. It would never connect. I could never get it to work right. So I do, you know, I try to let my community know when I'll go live here on my Facebook page. Um, but I know that not everybody can watch during that time. So then, look, guys, this is starting so cute. Oh, my goodness. All right. So then... What we're going to do is put the little nest here, and I may need to end up gluing that down so that it stays in there a little bit more. Because, you know, I don't want it to be sticking out too much. Um, anyway, so I, I do want to let my community know when I go live because... Um, you know, that way if you can catch me or you can watch it on the replay, my videos will always be saved here to my page. Uh, and then also I will upload them to my YouTube because, you know, it warms my heart. Um, and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to kind of twist this around. I want to, I want to kind of like make the greenery like this and put the nest in the middle. That was kind of my thought, my thought. Okay, let's see, let me think. 
um, wire. Wire, wire, wire. Oh, do I have green? I do have green. I have this floral wire. This one's, this is just little, little floral wire that you can get like in the floral section. Um, if you, Lisa says, if you don't, didn't want to put a bird, you could put a candle. Absolutely. Um, I'm just sharing, you know, the different ideas. I chose a red bird because, um, I'm making gifts for Mother's Day and my mother-in-law loves red birds. So I just wanted to do that for her. And, uh, but absolutely, you know, you can, um, I'm just kind of giving an idea you can switch it to what you like or what the person that you want to give it to um, as a friend or if you sell. Um, oh, and that's another question that I get a lot of the time is, can I sell the crafts that you inspire me to create? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, that's one of the, this is one of the reasons why I do this. I retired from a day job after 32 years uh, with the state of Texas last July. And um, yeah, the Lord and I are doing this together. Um, and so, you know, I am nothing without him. I'm not ashamed to say that um, because he gives me all these gifts and talents to share with others. And I myself get inspired by other people as well. And so I do... Um, search Pinterest a lot and then also on in the groups as well as on YouTube you know you get lots of inspiration anyway so I'm just gonna kind of see what I can do I don't know that my thoughts oh oh maybe I need to I wanted to kind of do that and have my my little nest Maybe I should have just stuck them in this nest, huh? Yeah. And so I may need to, um, so this is, this is what's good about these craft and chat. You kind of get to know me a little bit better. Um, like I said, I've been on YouTube for many years, um, you know, just uploading videos and not really had a lot of, uh, you know, not really shared too much. Um, you know, and so I'm trying to change that. <laughs> I'm trying to change that. So that's why I call them craft and chat because I'm crafting with you in real time. And, uh, you can chat with me if there's a red live button up at the top. So I'm just kind of sticking that in like that. I don't know. Do I like that? Do I like that Tracy? I don't know. So for me, I am going to use some of my uh, this glue, this Fabri-Tac glue, because I just have it handy. And uh, this is what it looks like. Everyone always wants to see the the label because they just, you know, want to be on the lookout for it. Uh, Lisa Joe, I got those nest at, she's asking about the nest. I got those at Hobby Lobby. I picked them up uh, one year after Christmas. They're from Hobby Lobby. They came in a pack. And so since uh, Hobby Lobby's just clearing out their uh, Easter stuff. Now, those of you that don't know, I live in, uh, well, I live in Brenham, Texas. And just a couple of months ago, I don't even know how long, uh, my town just got a new Hobby Lobby. And so those of, you know, those of you friends that have a Hobby Lobby access, you know, you're like, well, whatever, what's the big deal? I had, it was a day trip for me to, uh, and I'm holding this down uh, so that it kind of sticks. Um, it was a day trip for me to go to Hobby Lobby, and that's my favorite store because that's where I would get the bulk of my stuff. Um, anyway, so it has a little clip on it. So um, make, my mother-in-law loves red birds, 
So that's why I'm using this red bird, but there are lots of um, different suggestions in the comments. So um, that's another good thing, uh, like when we're doing these crafts and chats that, and, and I, well, you know, I encourage you, you can, um, you know, share your own suggestion of anything that, you know, you see, I'm just also going to put some Excelsior because I just like that one. See, look. And so just kind of holding that down. Uh, anyway, so I'm making a Mother's Day gifts for a gift for my mother-in-law. She loves red birds and she has this um, area in her bathroom, her guest bathroom that she um, you know, has little red birds. And so I thought that this would be cute. We're going to celebrate with her this weekend. And so I am fortunate. I do still have my mother as well as, um, my mother-in-law. So we're just so fortunate. I know I say that humbly. I don't say that to be bragging at all. Anyway, so I'm just going to put the little red bird in there like that. And I think it's just so cute. I'm, I'm trying to Hold that nest down. So I may need to go back later and, um, you know, glue it down a little bit more. I'll see. But I just added some greenery and then just uh, just some different daisies. I had got those daisies and stuff from um, Michaels. I got those from Michaels. Uh, yes, I did. <clears throat> so I have some laces and stuff um i thought i had like a thick uh, let's see i have some muslin i was gonna try to around like the neck of the of the uh, this is just a tea light uh candle holder that i got from dollar tree and i love it because it has those scrolls on it that decal is just so pretty uh anyway so let's see here Thought I had some thicker lace. <clears throat> so I thought I had some thicker lace. So we're going to see. I don't know. I kind of like said, yeah, you're going to want to. So we're going to just loosely tie that. Just loosely. Because I'm going to try something new. Um, and then see if I can tie my bow on there then. I don't want it to be too over overbearing because uh, you know you just need sometimes you just need a little a little something just a little something. Thanks, Jamie. Yes, my mother-in-law loves red birds and she's appreciative to anything that we give her. She fakes it well. She fakes it well. Uh, but no, she. I, I say that in all sincerity. Um, so sometimes I don't dovetail my laces. I just kind of cut them at an angle. And so just cut off some of this. All kind of different. Need some pearls in here. And so... We're going to get together um, with my family this weekend as well as my in-laws. And so that'll be good because, you know, I enjoy getting together with everyone. I'm going to put some of this. And I get my laces and trims from Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, anywhere I can find cute laces. And I had seen another crafter had all of her laces like in a in a basket, and I'm like, oh well, that's a good idea, you know, because you can kind of get rid of all of those uh, rolls and stuff. I don't know if I like it because now I don't know what I what I have. Like when it's on the on the roll, I'm like, oh well, yeah, I want to use this one. Uh, and then now I'm like, well, I don't know which one. <laughs> uh, so anyway, <sighs> okay. All right, so I just want a little something. I don't want to, I just want a little something just to kind of um, tie it there on the side. <clears throat> I don't know, I may, 
um, I don't know, put a little, little sign, a little tag. I'm just going to tie this bigger lace around it. I don't know. I may attach a little tag that says, I don't know, sweet, tweet, mom. I don't know. Anyway, so I just kind of tied that there on the side. Oops. Well, I don't have my bird glued. So he flew at the nest. He flew the nest. The red bird came from a Dollar Tree. This um, uh, tea light holder also came from the Dollar Tree. Anyway, so that, I love that. That's looking it's so cute. And yeah, my idea didn't work with that. I'm going to need to redo this bow. Yeah, I'm going to need to redo this bow. Um, so like I said, my time in Craft Around the Clock ended at 1130. So I do appreciate any, if you're watching on the replay, um, I just wanted to get these three projects done. Um, yeah, I'm just totally messing this bow up. All right, so let's do this again. All right, let's get this in line you know sometimes it gets a little off and then your your um knots are not directly center that's what happened sometimes you just need to lay things to the side you need to lay it to the side so i need to think about a little uh tag like sweet or tweet i don't know and i just my little Excelsior, cute, I'm making this little, just for my mother-in-law's little bathroom, she has um, a little area that she has red birds. And so I just wanna put that on there, kinda put a little touch for that. Thanks, Peggy. All right, <clears throat> so that's all my ribbons and trims. So that is okay. So here are my projects. So let me share um, these with you. I had these projects, three um, gifts, like Mother's Day gifts that I wanted to do. This one I made because um, these cans are so popular, a little smashed can. So let me share, uh, review what I did. This is a 20 ounce, like uh, scrap, but not scrap. <laughs> sweet potato, sweet potato uh, can. It's like the 20 ounce. And so um, I just Here's one just for reference. I had used my can opener. A sweet friend and follower had shared. Um, you, I can get it. You know, that helps. And so I bought it. Um, it has the, you know, non-edge cut. Like you don't get the little edges on it. And so it's an OXO brand. And uh, called Good Grip. Anyway, so just to smash it down, what I did is I just kept working with it like this, you know, this bottom was off and I just kept kind of smashing it down, down at the bottom until I got it, uh, down like that. And so the scrapbook paper is from Hobby Lobby. And then I just tore, um, a strip of the leftover paper. And then I just wrapped it around the bottom so that I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't have any sharp edges. It didn't, but I didn't want it to over time. I don't know. And then I just made a little lace bow like that, just with some of that creepy cheesecloth looking stuff that um, I'm using a leftover from Halloween. Um, this is, um, oh, for the hanger, I just used some wire from the Dollar Tree and you can get that in the floral section. Anyway, this is a uh, sentimental because it's a uh, blue jean pocket leftover from one of my dad's pair of jeans. And it must be from years ago because it has the indention of his billfold, but he carries it in his front pocket now. My dad is still with me. So I need to ask him, when did he switch over to the front? You know, so these may be 25, 30 years old. Who knows? Uh, anyway, but I have a ton of 
his old pockets, um, you know, to do crafts. Cause I used to paint on them. I would paint on them uh, for my Christmas craft shows. I would paint little snowmen and um, Santa Clauses and stuff. And so, and then I would put jute hangers on them and I would hang them on the tree for like gift card holders or if you wanted a teacher gift or something like that you could stick a little something in it and it would uh, you could have a gift and then they could have an ornament after they take the gift out that kind of thing so that's why I have so many blue jean pockets anyway I just stuffed it with like faux lavender um, pit berries just different greenery and stuff um, also some excelsior that I like to use project number three this one is for my mother-in-law who likes red birds she collects them and she has a little area in her bathroom that she has little red bird little area vignette set up and so i'm the, i don't have this glued down so that's why he's flying the flying the nest anyway but i just put some excelsior on there uh, in there rather and just some different greenery and little daisies and so the nests are from uh hobby lobby left over from easter and this Baby's breath looking, I think that's what Summer called it from the Hammer's ne Hammer, Hammond's Nest. If you are not following her, you need to because she's awesome. Uh, anyway, so she had recently used this Baby's Breath greenery, um, this right here on one of her projects. And it just, I'm like, I think I have some of that. And sure enough, I did. So I pulled it out. This is what it looks like. It's um, on a garland um, from... Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby, and I think they still have them uh, because I've seen them, you know, recently when I was there. Anyway, so. All right, so let me binge it back up. <clears throat> So those were my projects from today. I um, wanted to get them done so that I would have them um, for Mother's Day this weekend. Guys, if you're not already, please consider following my page, subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, and like I said, I will go back and answer any questions that I can, welcome any new people that I didn't get to see. And uh, I do appreciate you watching either in the Craft Around the Clock group or here on my page or on YouTube. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll talk to y'all soon. Okay. Happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers, um, past, present, and going to become mothers. All right, guys, um, be blessed and we'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.